毛毛虫和我都是由原子组成的Hello, kids. Is it true that you see a lot of things every day? The feeding bottle, the apple, and this big ball. There are kittens chasing their tails on the ground, TVs showing cartoons on the wall, and outside of our houses, there are birds singing on the branches. And we always have our mummies and daddies who always stay with us. Everyone, do you know that everything you are seeing? Is made of the same thing, including your mummies and daddies. Yes, they're made of just one thing. And what is it? From today, I, Dr. Chris, am going to introduce you to a magical world of physics. Kids, have you ever used a magnifier? If you haven't, ask your mom or dad to find you one. With this, we can see many small things. But with this magnifier, we can see that the butterfly is covered in beautiful patterns, and we can use this magnifier to look at these pretty flowers and the grass. And many other things. If you come to Dr. Chris's laboratory, we can see an even more amazing magnifier. We call it a microscope. With a microscope, you can go even smaller, such as the bacteria in a water drop or the bacteria on your hand. Do they look the same? After seeing this, we can see that big objects. Are made of small objects, and these small objects are the basic materials that make up the big objects. For example, we can use building blocks to build a house. Construction workers use blocks to build up buildings. In fact. If you continue looking into these small objects, you'll see that they're made of even smaller objects that we can't see with our bare eyes. And if you look into these small objects, they're made of even tinier objects. So here's the question: How small can we get? And what is the smallest object we can see with our bare eyes? If we use the microscope, then we can get down to the level of atoms. Not only is this apple made of atoms, but also The caterpillar, the airplane, the boat—that is to say, the whole world is made of atoms. Although these objects may look different and they may seem like they have no connection, to Dr. Chris, they're all made of atoms. Even you. Remember this, and you will become a little quantum physicist. So now we all know that everything around us is made of smaller things, and those smaller things are made of atoms. Now let's have a look around and see if we can see the big things made of the smaller things. And if you have a magnifier, 
and you can use the magnifier to see even smaller things. Don't forget to write down your findings on the Walnut Message Board. 什么什么？我们都是由原子组成的。你是说我、熊猫和宝宝，还有我们爱吃的桉树叶、熊猫爱吃的竹子，还有宝宝们爱吃的巧克力，难道都是由原子组成的吗 ？That's right, 萌萌。那那原子就是最小的东西吗？原子又是由什么组成的呢 ？Well, that's a very good question. Everybody, would you like to know what atoms are made of? Let me introduce you. To the family of atoms. Here you can see a picture of an atom using a very powerful microscope. Does it look like a fuzzy ball in that picture? So what is inside that ball? Well, Dr. Chris doesn't know either, and that's because the very powerful microscope hasn't been invented yet to see inside the atom's house. But scientists have done experiments and made predictions. And they do know what is inside the atom's house. There are neutrons, protons, and electrons. The protons and neutrons live together, just like your moms and dads come together to make a family. We call this family the nucleus. The kids are like the electrons, swirling around the nucleus. Based on the observations mentioned before, scientists have drawn the atom to look like this. This is a model that lets us and other kids see what atoms look like. Everybody remember, the atom family is made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. You can be your parents' teacher now. Oh, I understand now. Originally, our body is made up of many, many protons. That's right, Momo. Billions upon billions of atoms make up all sorts of things, and these things make up our world, the Earth. And the universe. Ah, 好可爱的原子！你看，哎，为什么有个原子跑不动了呢？嗯，它是饿了吗 ？Yes, that's correct. This atom is running slower because it has less energy. 能量，原子也能有能量吗？妈妈总是让我多吃桉树叶，说这样我才能有能量，爬树有力气。Yes, atoms have energy. Because we are all made of atoms, we use the energy from the atoms so that we have the strength to climb. Wow, 好神奇呀、啊、Well, talking about energy is a big topic. Okay, so now let's play another game. After we play this game, you will know the strength of the atoms, and it will help you with the understanding. In the next class, kids, do you like climbing the stairs? We need to go step by step to go up and down the stairs. Going up is upward movement, and going down is downward movement. Let's try climbing the stairs under mum and dad's supervision. First, we go up, and then we go down. Which one required more energy and more strength? If you already know how to jump. Let's jump up, and then jump down. What did you feel when you did that? What did you hear? Could you tell the difference? Now, tell mom and dad which movement you thought required more energy, going up or going down, and how do you know? In the next class, I'll tell you where our bodies get our energy from and where does it go. We're out of time. Goodbye, everyone. Dr. Chris will tell you the physics behind our physics game in the next class. Children, 小朋友们，我们下期再见。